Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Twin Flame Tarot reading. Welcome to the channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome, welcome. All are welcome. All right, guys, we are going to get a little energy update today on what is going on with Divine Feminine. All right, Divine Feminine, what is going on with you? Hopefully, you guys are doing awesome. I know I'm doing awesome. I'm doing amazing here in my weird little life that I am really stoked about. It's a it's a good weird little life. I'm I'm down. Anyway, my name is Brittany. I am a coach with New World All Star, and I am going to do a tarot reading for you guys today. We are going to find out what exactly is going on with the Divine Feminine Collective out there. All right, well, if you guys have found this channel, the chances are, and those chances are pretty damn good, that you have, in fact, had a run-in, you've met your Twin Flame. All right, guys, and you know, it's okay. I know right now a lot of you might be kind of still in that dark night of the soul, maybe. And that's okay, man. That's okay. We've all been through it. It's not a big deal. It's just kind of, it's like a rite of spiritual passage, so to speak. All right, but let's get into this. What exactly is going on here? What the hell is a twin flame? Maybe you're new here and maybe you're not, you know, you're not really sure what's going on here. That's okay. All right, so your twin flame is you, <laughs> right? There's a lot of information out there on the internet about twin flames. And a lot of that information is not necessarily, you know, hitting the mark. And, and some of it's, some of it's okay, but a lot of it's not. But the one thing that everybody can kind of agree on is that twin flames are one soul in two bodies. All right. And so just to break it down real quick and easy, like your twin flame is a simultaneous incarnation of you. That's just you. Okay. So yeah. How, how do you get one soul in two bodies? Well, time is an illusion. Everything is happening now and you have experienced the simultaneous incarnation of you that is happening in this plane of existence. I know, trippy, right? But you know what? It's real, guys. And I'm not on mushrooms right now telling you about it. I promise. So, all right. So, yes, your twin flame is just a simultaneous incarnation of you. Now, why does this happen? Why do you meet this person, this simultaneous incarnation of you? This you over there in physical manifested form. Well, because it's real painful and it needs to be because you meet your twin flame for one reason and one reason only. And that is to awaken to consciousness, who you truly are. Now, if you don't know what I mean by that, that's okay. When I say awaken to consciousness. Here's a really quick and easy way to kind of, kind of grasp that, right? Cause I mean, this stuff's confusing. It's the mind is trying to understand that which is beyond the mind. So when you are sitting there and you experience a thought, you hear a thought in your head, all right, who heard it? Who noticed the thought in your head? Without consciousness, we are just basically robots. Thoughts occur, programs are triggered, you know, and we just, we just function very robotically. But that's not who we are. That is not the essence that defines us, which really doesn't define us. It's just who we are, you know. It's the, it's the living essence, the animating essence that breathes life into each, you know, physical person. That's who we are, consciousness, which, you know, that's how I'm going to explain it right now, but that's essentially what it is. It's consciousness. It is life force energy, 
It is your own innate divinity. So at the level of consciousness, you and your twin flame are one. You're the same soul. So when you meet this person, there is a polarization that occurs at the level of the mind. That's why they run. And that's really just pointing you in the direction of a deeper spiritual truth, which is duality. Duality is there. It's up. It's down. It's hot. It's cold. It's good. It's bad. It's duality. And I mean, even look at the look at the the terms that are used, you know, divine feminine, divine masculine. Sounds a lot like the yin and the yang, the alpha and the omega. Right. It's duality. And you have to first see that duality is there to understand that you are not duality. You are not. You, who you is, is the singularity experiencing duality with the tools of the body and the mind. You are the consciousness. Now, as this pertains to twin flames, as you align with that which you are, which you always have been and which you always will be forever and ever and ever, which is also your twin flame, and you let go of the physical person because there is no separation. Separation is an illusion. There is no separation. It is the illusion of Maya. It is... It is the illusion of duality. You and your twin flame are one being. Now, as you come to let go of the physical person and just experience yourself as the consciousness, a byproduct of that is that the physical person is attracted magnetically, mysteriously back into your life. And that's what we do here. And if you guys want to know more about what I'm talking about, and I highly recommend that you do this, go and check out the true... Twin Flame Teachings playlist on this channel on New World All Star on YouTube and check out what I'm talking I know I always put this down and then I'm like wait I need that <laughs> anyway go and check out the True Twin Flame Teachings playlist on this channel on New World All Star on YouTube Kurt has put up so much free content for you guys to check out so I suggest you do it it's free you know, I like free shit. I don't know about you guys, but it's free, okay? So check it out. I mean, with over 6,000 paying students to date, I would say that Kurt knows what he's talking about. So go check it out. Check out the free content here on this YouTube channel, New World All-Star. All right, let's get into this reading, Divine Feminine. At the bottom of the deck, The Magician. All right, I'm feeling that. You are really starting to experience yourself not only as consciousness, but as a creator. And you are coming to understand, or rather, understand how powerful you truly are when you align with that which you are and you transcend that which you are not, which is the mind. All right, so let's get into this. In the recent past, for you, Divine Feminine, we have the lovers reversed. Okay, in the recent past, there's been some disharmony with relationships, right? You know, just... I I really I really get the sense that this isn't necessarily a romantic relationship for you, Divine Feminine. It might be. It might be. But it might also be with the patterns of mind as it pertains to self-love, self-care, self-worth, all of that. And there's been some imbalance or disharmony, you know, maybe not really feeling like you are worthy. But my question to you is, what is it that feels like you are not worthy? What? Is it you? No, you, you are just watching. You are just observing. You are just noticing all of this. That's who you are. Those are just patterns of mind and you can let them go just like feathers in the wind. You can just let them go. Just let them go. All right. In the recent past in your 3D life situation, so-called karmic situation, we have the tower reversed and the 10 of cups. All right, so in the recent past, you know, there's been a lot of resisting the, the change that's going on in your life situation and a lot of clinging to these old patterns of mind. And I hear that all the time. People are like, I don't want to let go. Listen, here's the thing. Here's the thing, my divine feminine friends. You can sit there and perceive that you're hanging on to something, 
but it's already gone. It's already gone. So you can hang on all you want to, but the things that are going on are going to happen anyway, and it's your experience of it. And what's going on in the recent past in your 3D life situation, so-called karmic situation, it is. With the tower reverse, there's a lot of things falling away that do not serve you. The mind wants to cling to that. That's okay. That's just what the mind does. But you are not the mind. You are not the mind. Everything is, is flowing and transforming as it is meant to, you know, as it is happening, right? If it's happening, it's obviously meant to happen. Otherwise, it wouldn't be happening, okay? So it, that's all happening. And so just allow, just allow. There's really no other choice but to just allow. And so, and also with the 10 of cups coming in, I love this because it's like the tower reverse is coming in. And it's just like, you know, everything is being destroyed that needs to be destroyed. And there's this intense time of transformation. And all of that is necessary for you to come into alignment with all that which is coming towards you, which is being attracted towards you. And all of that is the result of your transcendence. You know, everything that does not serve you is very naturally, very organically falling away. To the mind, that can be shattering, but it's okay. It's okay. Everything changes and transforms within duality. Everything, everything is constantly changing and transforming. And that is truly the only constant within duality. So this is all great for you, Divine Feminine, and it is all happening because you are transcending the mind. All that which, all that which does not serve you is being naturally and organically just taken out of your life situation, and that is perfect. And listen, I know it's hard. I went through it too, and it's like, oh, shit. But honestly, best things that ever happened for me. I'm, I promise you, oh my gosh, it is, it's, it's so good. Just, just trust the process, divine feminine, trust the process. Okay. So in the recent past towards your twin flame, towards divine masculine, we have the two of cups and the seven of swords. All right. So obviously the two of cups, you felt a lot of love, a lot of harm, like a lot of harmonious connection with divine masculine, but then we have the seven of swords, that motherfucker. Okay. So, yeah, there was deceit, there was betrayal, and you didn't see it coming. You know, divine masculine, you know, maybe in your situation, maybe this resonates, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. But what I'm getting here is the divine masculine, you loved this person, right? Which is just you over there. So, but that's, you know, but at the time, what you were experiencing seemed like this amazing connection. You had all this love for this this person, this physical manifestation that is just you, right? And divine masculine did some shit. They were, li they were lying. They were cheating. They were going behind your back. There was some bullshit. And that's traumatic. That's very traumatic, divine feminine. But it's just the story. It's just the story. It doesn't matter. It's just the story. And in the recent past, you've been really clinging on to that story and hanging on to that story. And that's the story. But it's just the story. It doesn't matter. That's just you over there. That's just you over there. And all of this is going to make so much more sense to you the farther that you go. So just keep going. Keep transcending. This is, this is the story. That's it. And you're letting it go. All right. You're transcending the mind. That's where the story lies. That's where the story lies. That's not who you are. You are that which watches all of that. All right. Okay. Currently for you, Divine Feminine, we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Bringing in some, some fairness and equality in relationships. You're really having a good balance of, of currency in your current relationships, which is beautiful. And you're definitely, you're maintaining that balance of currency in your current relationships. And currency is not financial or not just financial. It's also mental, emotional, spiritual, time. All of that is currency. And you have a good balance of that in your current relationships, which is beautiful. And I'm very happy to see that for you. And that's another thing that kind of happens as you transcend is that your relationships just tend to get a lot more healthy because you're able to see and discern these patterns of mind that do not serve you. 
Oh my gosh, guys, we have a sale going on until September 6th. When you go to NewWorldAllStar.com and use coupon code WORKIN and you pay in full at the checkout, you get 30% off both of our Either, both or either of our world-class coaching programs with coupon code WORKIN. That's 30% off at the checkout when you pay in full and use coupon code WORKIN working at NewWorldAllStar.com until September 6th. All right, guys, we'll see you there. All right, so currently Divine Feminine in your... 3D life situation, so-called karmic situation. We have death and the ace of swords reversed. Okay. All right. So all that doesn't serve you is gone. It's done. You're experiencing that. However, there is a lack of clarity. There's confusion. The mind is still clinging on to that which is gone. You know, it's kind of like everything that has, has gone from your life, the mind, the mind is just letting it all live in your head rent free, right? And that's okay. That's just what the mind does. You are not the mind. Literally, as you go, as you continue on this journey, as you really transcend the mind and you come to know yourself as consciousness, what, what starts to happen and pretty quickly is that it doesn't really matter what the mind does at all. You just don't care. You're just noticing it. The mind thinks things, it says things, it, you know, whatever. And you're just sitting there noticing it. And it doesn't matter. And it's okay. And when you let go of the illusion that you have any control over the mind at all, paradoxically, the mind quiets down. I don't know. Just one of those things. But... You know, you're noticing that everything, like everything in manifested reality that needed to go, it's gone. And the mind is still clinging on to that. Maybe you're experiencing some sadness, some confusion, but that's okay. It's just the mind, you know, and you don't want to stop yourself from experiencing those experiences. You know, we don't want to spiritually bypass anything. You allow yourself to experience that, but you just remember that that's not who you are. Those are just thoughts. Those are just emotions. Those are just events. Those are just experiences. They are not who you are. You just notice them. They come, they go. It's okay. All right. In the, excuse me, currently, toward your twin flame, toward divine masculine, we have the Empress reversed and strength. Okay. So with the Empress reversed, it definitely looks like you know, mentally, emotionally, you're still putting a lot of energy into divine masculine, but that's okay. You know, you, you'll let it go when you let it go. No worries. And with strength coming up, I see that you are letting it go. You are, you're noticing these patterns of mind. You're remembering who you are. You're letting go of the attachment to the physical person. And you're coming to experience yourself as the consciousness, which is beautiful, which by the way, paradoxically is when your twin flame tends to want to come back to be with you as you transcend, as you let go, as you detach. And so you're doing that divine feminine and you're doing wonderfully. And I'm very, very happy for you. All right, guys, we are going to do an Oracle card. And while I'm getting that ready, I want to invite you guys to come on over to newworldallstar.com and check out what we have to offer. We have 30% off both of our world-class coaching programs until September 6th when you use coupon code WORKIN and you pay in full at the checkout. Oh my gosh, these cards are so well-loved. They don't even shuffle that well anymore. That's okay, we're going to get through it. Uh, all right, so yeah, get 30% off either one of our world-class coaching programs when you pay in full at the checkout and use coupon code WORKIN at NewWorldAllStar.com. And if you're here watching this video, I'm assuming that you're interested in our Introduction to the Journey online video course for Twin Flames, which is over 20 hours of educational material to have you aligning with your soul and attracting your Twin Flame back into your life today. So... When you go over to NewWorldAllStar.com, I highly recommend that you do check that out. Check out our Introduction to the Journey online video course for Twin Flames. And get the gold program, guys. It's so awesome. It's really the best value because once you get in there, you watch the videos. You can, after you watch the videos, you can get into the True Spiritual Journey uh, group coaching call system. Once you get in there, after you watch the videos, you can talk to Kurt. You can talk to me. 
You know, you can get into the secret Facebook group for paying students, not the public New World All-Star Facebook group. And you can interact with the community. I mean, people in there are just, they, they are not only spiritual badasses, but they also, like, make friends with each other. They, they've gone on trips. Like, they do, they're amazing. They're just so amazing. And they're all doing this journey right. And you know what? If that's not your thing, it's okay. You can make a fake Facebook profile as long as you let us know who you are. No problem. Discretion is key. We get it. What happens in Vegas most certainly stays in Vegas. Okay, so definitely check it out. Get the gold program. And guys, it's not expensive. It's three or $400. And right now we have a sale going on until September 6th. Get 30% off when you pay in full at the checkout. If you can't pay in full, no problem. For $60 or $70, you can make, uh, excuse me, we have payment plans. So for $60 or $70, you make your first payment, you get full access to the online video course. And as soon as you watch that, you can get into the group coaching calls, no problem. Listen, guys, you got problems, we got solutions. Come on over to NewWorldAllStar.com, check it out, work with us, work with Kurt, work with me, work with the best, get your twin flame to come back in your life, manifest your best, most amazing existence, and let's get this party started, okay? All right, let's do this oracle card because I am feeling it, okay? All right. Ooh, right there. Absolutely. Body and soul. Ooh, I love that. That's so beautiful. All right. All right, well, let's read from the book on this. Body and soul. Extreme self-care is called for when you receive this card. Answer truthfully. Are you taking care of yourself? Your first choice may be to take care of others before meeting your own needs. Check in with yourself. Are you experiencing hunger, anger, loneliness, or tiredness? This card is a signal that it's time to take a break from your current focus and get busy taking care of you because you are worthy of this care. What simple things require your attention so you can function optimally in your world and live your best life one day at a time? Another message that this card holds is about how you live with authenticity. Can you be at ease within yourself? You doing you with pride and self-worth? Remember, you are a soul that manifests through a body, a spiritual being having a human experience. And that means you are here on purpose, even if there are days when you wonder about that. There is an intentionality to your being here now, just the way you are in this time in our collective story. You being here is important, for you are a precious being with a purpose, even if it seems elusive some days. Just know that life loves you. With that in mind, your job is to do your part to make your experience a healthy one. How you nourish your body, mind, and soul is directly related to how you experience your life. It's time to put yourself first, then everything will fall beautifully into place. That is such a beautiful card, guys. All right, Divine Feminine, for you, moving forward, we have the Four of Pentacles. All right, so moving forward, you have a lot of stability. Things are, cal things are really calming down after this time of chaos, which is awesome. I'm super happy to see that for you moving forward. All right, and then we have... In your 3D life situation, so-called karmic situation, moving forward in the near future, we have the Fool and the Page of Wands. Okay, so the Fool and the Page of Wands is all about new beginnings, really taking that leap into the unknown. I mean, look at the Fool. He's just like, fuck it. You know, like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's coming up. I don't know where I'm headed, but fuck it. The Fool is all about like, fuck it, send it, let's do it. And I, I love that about The Fool. It's so awesome. And the Page of Wands is all about bringing in new beginnings, bringing in new opportunities. Maybe it's a job. Maybe you're moving. I don't know. Just lots of new energy. New, 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 new. Right? Which is so great. New opportunities, new friendships, new relationships. 
all of that. It's so beautiful. Letting go of the mind itself, letting go of the attachments, letting go of the story and just moving forward. And because you are transcending and because you are letting go of all those attachments, what do you guys think happens when you do that? When you let go of the physical person, when you let go of the physical manifestation that is divine masculine's physical manifested form, which by the way, you are your twin flame. Divine masculine is just you over there. It's just you over there. Okay. So moving forward in the near future towards your twin flame, we have the three of cups and temperance reversed, right? This is screaming party. This is screaming like, yes, we're all coming together. We're all hanging out. We're all, we're all having some drinks. We're all, you know, throwing caution to the wind. Divine masculine is definitely moving towards you as a result of your transcendence, as a result of you just letting go and not giving a shit about the story, transcending the mind, coming to know yourself as the consciousness. All right, guys, this has been a very powerful reading. I love you all so much. Please give us a like, please hit subscribe, and please hit the bell notification button so that you are notified every time we post one of these amazing videos. I love you guys so very much. You guys are amazing. Do good things, make good choices for yourselves, and have a great rest of your day. Bye!